Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to stage eight of the Tour de France 2021 with Ineos Grenadiers, our very first playthrough. And um, we're not doing too bad. We're you know we're in fifth place. We're 30 seconds behind Rodzic. Uh Pochka is just ahead of us as well, which you know the time trial really cost me. Now I do know we have another time trial that scares me uh, in this one. Um it's but a day in the mountains. We might be okay on the that one. It's only 31 kilometers. But the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. You will have to be there on the final climb if we are to do well. I'm not too worried. I think we're able to win the stage, outdistancing the other favorites. Have a good day, guys. Come <laughs> he on. has a lot of high hopes of us. Victory. Okay, so basically we need to be well placed until that final climb, and then we're just going to go for it. Um, I, I was going to leave that for stage 9, because I really want to win the uh, uh, hilltop finish, but... Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. We'll see if we can get some time back. You know, even if it's just 5, 10 seconds, whatever it might be. Um, again, I'm going to try and let Rogic. He has to control the peloton. He didn't do it in the last couple of episodes. I'm quite concerned that the AI is not working properly like that. But we'll see how they, they pan out. Today is in the hills and the mountains. Uh, he literally ran on his own the whole race yesterday. And he did absolutely fine. Um, so we'll see how we go. Hello to all. With a formidable triptych of Côte de Mont Saxonnet, Col de Rome, and Col de la Colombière, the first Alpine stage of this Tour de France is already an important rendezvous for the contenders for final victory. Perhaps by the end of the day, some will have abandoned all hopes of yellow in Paris. Okay, so we start the day uh, on a on a hill, which is nice. Uh, why am I sitting on the front here? Come on, Roger, I'm going to sit behind your wheel. The this is a, don't scare him. He's already trying to escape. This is a day for a breakaway, I, I imagine, unless Roger brings them back. Like I said, I really don't want to be sending my team to the front. Um, I'm going to try and hold my stamina for the day and just the make Roger work. Hard at work because the stage begins with a king of the mountain summit that is classified as second category. There will be five points to be had for the first to the top. Okay, at the moment, I'm not worried about anyone that's out in that breakaway. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. It does surprise me how strong the AI are as well. Like I said, he can ride the whole day there in the front and he'll still beat me at the end, probably. Um, so we've got to be smart here. The final climb, I've got to get all my teammates together. We're going to hit the front of the peloton and hopefully just we're going to work hard, work fast, and we can just get over that hill pretty quickly. And it's just then I think I can beat him down the hill on a descent. But again, we want him to work. I don't want to be doing any work today, really, for, for as long as we can go. Really need my team to kind of be there in the final. A good climber, the Latvian Tom Squinch, is a rider to be watched on mountainous routes. Front of the race is two kilometers from the summit. Uh, but the organizer done well this is a tough day actually for the riders after yesterday's long stage kind of hilly um to then do this that's pretty pretty intense then to start straight on a hill for today you know it is going to be who's got the best legs
Okay, we find ourselves hitting the uh, Cod de Monde Assassiné, uh, but unfortunately, for some reason, Barnell just doesn't like when you take over from him. <laughs> he, I, I wanted to be with the yellow jersey, but all of a sudden it just kind of dropped me. I don't know why. And you just can't find your way through the peloton. That's one thing that does do my head in a little bit. Okay, so Jumbo Visma actually really have not worked that hard again today. They kind of did take control of the peloton to start with. Uh, but it does seem like UAE now uh, taking the control. So it looks like Pochico is going to go for something today, I reckon. Uh, I just need to make sure I stay up there with them. I'm going to sit in Simon Yates' wheel. You know, it's a long stage today. These are pretty high climbs. But I don't want to be dropped by the yellow jersey either. See, look, they all just kind of bundle you in and then it just stops. It's a shame. Okay, so we're in Roderick's wheel. That's fine. Again, his on his own, but he just seems to do it so well. Okay, we're about halfway up this the front of the race is climb. Kilometers from the summit. In theory, he should be working harder than me, but I'm not sure. The breakaway increases its lead on the yellow jersey group. I'm here with Lopez, Rogic, uh, I, I say Quintana's probably not far behind us as well. Pochica's probably there behind us. Uh, I've got some Grenadiers there sitting in behind, so that's good. I will put them on the front of the peloton nearer the last climb of the day. Okay, now this is getting nice, 8.3%. The breakaway is being reeled in. It will be difficult to withstand the return of the yellow jersey. Carapaz is up here in the front with me, if needed. Just want to get myself with my teammate here. I'm not too worried about losing the King of the Mountains jersey if that's what we lose. It does seem to be whoever you follow all of a sudden does drag behind. A little bit annoying. Okay, we'll sit at the front here as we descend down ourselves. Okay, so we are now heading up the Colombier. The percentages met during the ascent are regularly above 10%. A pure climber's paradise. The leader was in danger, but he's once again leading the overall standing. Okay, I think I'm going to have to leave Pochica here. He's not going to do much help. Rodjic is just very, very strong. But if I can gain time on Podjica, we're going to have to do it. This is not what I had in today's mind. I was hoping that the peloton would be together more. Um, but they, you know, Rodjic has just been ridiculous as usual. The first six riders at the top will pocket the points towards the polka dot jersey. There will be 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 1 point to be gained. Can I get in the wheels of Pochka? Uh, Rodjic, just trying to get into his wheel now. I'm taking all my feeds. Okay. It's a little bit of a better tempo. Once you get nearer to the top, I'm going to go for it.
Okay, they're going to sit in my wheel. He's one of the favourites for the race and the undisputed leader of his team. Watch out for him. Okay, this kind of pace won't hurt me, um, but I'm just trying to hold my energy out for the best we can uh, till we get probably about two kilometers from the, the top, maybe. The race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. I feel like Rogic is the one that needs to chase Quintana down, not me. Uh, I just want to beat them over the top. That is my plan here. You know, this won't be turning them inside out. Okay, 8.7% on the gradient. We're just resting nicely. Okay, going to put a little bit more pressure on here now. Okay, let's do it. The front of the race is two kilometers from the summit. Okay, I think if we're going to go for it, we go for it now. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. Wojcic cannot take him off yet. The yellow jersey group is one minute from the head of the race. Okay, the yellow jersey's cracked. Saying that I'm in a bit of trouble myself. Just push it. Here we go. The lead rider begins the descent towards the finish. If he doesn't make any mistakes on trajectory, we could blow up here, but I'm hoping that the descent we're just going to be fast enough. This is going to be exciting. We've got enough of a points lead for the polka dot jersey. No way we can lose it today. Keep it up. Hopefully I can just put a little bit of time into them. for the front of the race apart from the last three kilometers it's downhill okay if i can just work with quintana that'd be really good um see how we fare i mean i have what 13 seconds on rogic maybe i could be going into the yellow jersey today if i could just sustain this if i can work with quintana it'd be best for both of us at this stage um, but saying that, I just can't quite get to him. Riders, one minute thirty on the favourites. Been quite an exciting stage so far. It's kind of what I wanted to do tomorrow. But if I can get the yellow jersey, I can sit back and definitely. Uh, I'm going to relax tomorrow in that stage and let them attack me, and hopefully we can just hold out. Only five kilometres left for the race leader. Even if I don't get the stage over Quintana, I'm not that bothered, to be honest with you. 
that's not my goal here the goal is just to make up that time in the yellow jersey if not get a bit of time on them I'm so close to Quintana now if I can just keep up with him there's a chance you know what we'll go without him if I have to yellow jersey is one minute 30 away from you Okay, let's just push ourselves here. Bit of a time trial. We're absolutely knackered. Uh, Quintana's going to sit in my bloody wheel now, isn't he? You've got one minute 30 lead on the group with the favourites. Okay, we attacked obviously at the right time. Ugh, that was horrible. Try to manage things so that you don't blow up before the line. Okay, I'm going to sit in uh, Quintana's wheel. You can do it. Start your sprint at the right moment. Okay, Quintana, come on. Get us until about 300 meters. He's still got something in the tank. He's putting his foot down in the relay. Oh no, I didn't realize. Uh, second place will do me, because uh, we are going to take the yellow jersey today. All smiles as he climbs onto the podium. Applaud him. Here is the, he will climb onto the podium. Okay, so we have taken that yellow jersey back. from the hostesses. Tops the he tops the standings and will receive the trick. He's amongst the leading riders this year. So he's not happy, but it's the perfect day. Yeah, okay, so we've now taken back the uh, general classification. Uh, who's behind us? Actually, is Quintana. Look, uh, I've taken 1 minute 10 out of Rogic and Pochica at 155. Then Simon Yates is down from there. Okay, so that's changed my tactics a little bit for the next stage. The next stage, I was going to go for it, but it just happened to be that we just timed this one pretty well. Um, I've got a good descent. So what we're going to hope for now is to de de defend. I'm just going to sit on the, the wheels of Rogic, Pochica and defend tomorrow instead of attacking. Um, but yeah, this is shaping up to be really exciting. And Quintana doing really well to be up near the front as well. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on him. Um, but yeah, if we're enjoying this content, please let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll laugh myself, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.